With GarageBand 08, you can now automate instrument and effect settings. Automation can be used for things like adding echo at the end of a vocal phrase or increasing a guitar's distortion during a solo. First, listen to the end of this guitar solo. Give extra flair to this recording by using automation to add an echo at the end of the phrase. To start, you'll need to see which effects are used on this track. Select the track, click the Track Info button, and then click the Details triangle. Checked effects are being used with the selected track. While some effects only have one control, others have many settings that can be viewed by clicking the Effect Edit button. Any effect parameter you see can be controlled by automation. To activate automation, click the triangle on the right side of the track's header. Volume and panning appear by default, but effect settings are accessed by selecting Add Automation. In the dialog, click the triangle of the effect you want to automate. Then click the checkbox of the specific parameter you want to control. Click OK to confirm your selection. Your selected effect parameter is now displayed in the track's automation row. Click on the automation line where you want the effect change to begin. A node will be created. Nodes represent where changes to a settings value can occur. Click the automation line again to create a second node where you want the effect change to end. Nodes can be dragged to different positions in time and raising or lowering a node will change the value of the parameter it's controlling. A diagonal line will display how the settings value will smoothly transition from one point to the next over time. Add as many nodes as you like, or select a node and press Delete to remove it. Now, when you play your song, GarageBand's automation takes care of adjusting the controls that will make your recording stand out.